Well, police have converged on a north side home, actually, where a teenager has reportedly shot and killed a burglar. Police were called to that home around 7.30 this morning. When they got there, they found the suspect was dead. Eyewitness News reporter Eric James is live at that home, and he joins us now with details on the case and reaction from neighbors. Good morning, Eric. Good morning, Sharon. Well, investigators are still here on this scene, and the medical examiner's office has yet to arrive to even remove the body from inside of the house. As far as the teen is concerned, he is now downtown giving statements to authorities there. He is only a teenager, and investigators say he did what he had to do to protect himself. He's doing all right right now. I'm sure within a few hours and a day or two, he's going to start reliving this. So. It was just before 7 this morning when officers say the suspect in the case kicked in the back door of this northwest Houston home. The teen was inside asleep, but he woke up when he heard the noise. A young man that was inside fled to another part of the room or the house. The suspect came in, was armed with what looked like a pistol. Uh, I think it's going to be a BB pistol, but it looks, it looks like a pistol. I haven't touched it. So. Alone and fearing for his life, police say the boy grabbed a small caliber rifle and shot and killed the suspect. Three good kid, good kid. Yes, very good. Neighbor Virginia Evans says in just a year and a half she has lived in the area, there have been a number of home break-ins, and she wasn't surprised to hear about this one. I can't blame him. I'd shoot him if he was in my house. I kid you not. Right now, the medical examiner's office just pulled up right as we started this report, and we can tell you that they're going to go in the process of continuing to clean up this crime scene and continue to look for evidence in the crime scene. Authorities do not expect that any charges will be filed against the teenager. Reporting live, Eric James 13, Eyewitness News.